Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Election day here in Lincoln is over. Time to check out the numbers. Here we go. Everything has been counted. All 175 precincts have been put into the books. We begin with a look at the city council races. Six candidates were running for three at-large seats. So here are the top three vote getters. Larry and Gaylord Barrett is first with 21%. Second, Vinny Shobe with 18%. And then third is Roy Christensen with 17%. So again, those are your top three. Coming in fourth, Tom Nesbitt with 16%. After that, Maggie May Squires and Braden McLaughlin with 14%. Again, this is with 100% of the votes counted. Let's get reaction to tonight's numbers. We begin with the Republicans. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Cousins joins us live at their headquarters with more. Nicole? Rod and Megan, I am here again at the Republican Watch Party and again alongside City Councilman Roy Christensen. And we can say for another four years, City Councilman Roy Christensen. That's right. How does that feel? Well, I'm very grateful and appreciative. I'm grateful to my wife and all my supporters. I'm appreciative of all the voters uh, who showed up to vote today and uh, look forward to serving the people of Lincoln another four years. Uh, the same issues that brought me to the council to begin with, uh, responsible government spending, prioritization of uh, our funds, uh, roads especially, and, and public infrastructure, and public safety are the keys, I think, to having a good, happy city with a good quality of life. I know we talked a little bit earlier about the fluctuation of these numbers. What were the emotions and the feelings going through your mind as this race panned out? Well, I felt pretty calm through the whole thing, but then again, I'm generally a pretty calm guy. Great. And so we talked a little bit also about your priorities. Going forward, I know you're really focused on property taxes. Will that continue to be a focus, and how will you implement that? That will continue to be a theme that I have, and anything that happens going forward, of course, will take a collaboration of all the members of the city council working with the mayor, and I think we have a relationship where we can do that. Can we just talk a little bit about your next four years? What are you most excited to looking forward to being a part of the next four years here on City Council? Well, I think it's about quality of life in our city. You know, people come for opportunity to Lincoln and they stay for quality of life. And so we have some long range issues that we need to tackle. Uh, you know, the South Beltway is right on our doorstep now, but we're going to have an East Beltway. We're going to have uh, water issues where we bring in water from the Missouri River. Uh, we have flooding uh, issues that we need to take some of our city out of the floodplain. So those are issues that we need to work on going forward. Thank you, Earl Christensen. Congratulations on Thank you. securing your seat. Thank you. Rod Megan, back to you. Thank you very much, Nicole, for the update from Roy. Uh, Democrats also got together tonight to watch the numbers come in. Let's get their reaction. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Marlena Thornton joins us now live with that. Marlena. Rod and Megan, it's been a big night for local Democrats as two of their candidates have secured two of the at-large city council seats. Now, with the primary results came in, incitement filled this room here, cheers and see hugs all throughout it. It seems that Democratic candidate Larian Gaylor Barrett has carried her lead for the primary, and she's joining me now, Larian. This is a big night for you. Can you talk about how exciting this has been? This is a really exhilarating night. We're so excited. It's wonderful to have so many people who've made such a difference and such a great turnout in Lincoln tonight in this election. And for this upcoming term, what are you looking most forward to? Really just trying to continue the progress that we've been making as a city. I think this is a reflection of the kind of progress we've been making and we just need to make sure that everyone, regardless of age or income or zip code, experiencing Lincoln's progress. And one last question. During the campaign, you mentioned that you're doing this for your daughters and other girls that may be watching. Why is that so important? Why did you say that? Because I want my daughter and everyone else's daughters out there to look up to the city council and see women leading the city as well and see women behind the microphones. I think it's really important to have better representation and leadership. We're very underrepresented in politics, but there's so much good work that we can do. Well, thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Once again, Larry and Gayla Bear has secured her seat for the Lincoln City Council, and then followed by Vinny Shope, who has second place. Back to you, Rod and Megan. All right, Marlena Thornton reporting live for us. Thank you so much, Marlena. Recapping one more time, 
three at-large city council seats and uh, Larry and Gaylor Baird, Benny Shobe, and Roy Christensen in the top three. Let's look at the Lincoln School Board races. These uh, three incumbents uh, all ran unopposed, so easy win for them. The one contested race, District 5, incumbent Lanny Boswell with 72 uh, percent and uh, Preston Randall Harris with 27 percent. Now for the other race for Airport Authority, three people were running for two seats. The top two vote getters, Zachary James with 35 percent, former County Treasurer Richard Nuremberger with 33 percent, and then in third place, Robert Selig with 31 percent. Well,